Hey gang, Jamie Aston. Today we're going to be going into more detail on a brand new product called the Fish Eye Camera Jig by Castmate Systems. So I want to give a shout out and a big thank you to Jack over at Castmate Systems Team Fish Incorporated for allowing me to have this new product. They developed this product and they want to get this product in some people's hands that can demonstrate and test and come up with new way, uh, scenarios and uh, tips and instructions for some really, really cool video. You look at this and you say, what is it? Looks like a large uh, brass knuckle, huh? but it's made out of some type of plastic nylon or something like that and um, it has bow shackles bow shackles and you can place these bow shackles in any one of these pre-drilled holes around the circumference of the fish eye camera jig what this is on the very end is a line release you pinch this onto your fishing line there's so many ways that you can rig this up. You can actually put this directly on your fishing line. Directly on your fishing line. So that's what they, they want me to do is to just play around with it. So what you all are going to be seeing is me using this uh, camera jig in various conditions. Various mounting positions. And we're going to try to see if we can not get some really, really cool shots. A lot of you all really, really love my underwater camera shots. And I think that might be the reason why Team Fish contacted me. They may have found some of my videos where we've seen the bass underwater and, and things like that. So um, now I'm going to be able to go deeper. You know, My solution right now, I only put the camera down about a foot and a half. The camera that we're going to be pairing up to this uh, fisheye camera jig is the Sony AS100. Um, and it might even be the AS200 or AS1500 at times, but for today's video, it's going to be the AS100. Cool thing about the Sony action cameras, especially the 100, 200, and above, is that they are splash proof. So you could use this underwater without a case. Well, I wouldn't go down more than a foot or two. If you use the default case that comes with the camera, you can go down to about 16 feet. That's really cool. But a lot of the waters uh, I fish in, they are deeper than 16 feet, so I don't want to take a chance. So I bought the Sony Action Camera Underwater Camera Housing. This will allow my Sony Action Camera to go down to upwards to 197 feet. Another thing about this camera housing, it makes underwater scenes look a lot more crisp than what my original uh, case did because it was rounded. This one is flat. So this camera housing paired up to this camera using underwater scene I am hoping that you all are going to be able to see some really cool action. As far as mounting positions, let's just go ahead and imagine that the camera is on here. We're going to screw this on. We're going to tighten it up right there. Now first thing I want to point out is that this mount does not float. This thing will go to the very bottom. Your camera probably does not float. You want to use common sense when you're using this mount. We're going to just figure out the best methods through trial and error. So let's go out there and get some shots.